Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answer Series. This is episode number 36 and in today's episode the question is how can you add an element to an object? Right? How can you add more properties to an object? That's a pretty fairly straightforward question and this is just a beginner uh, kind of a junior developer question to see if you have worked with objects and how do you add it right run time. Let's go ahead and solve that in hands-on. Before we do that, I'll request you to please check out my ebook, which covers all these JavaScript coding snippets to help you improve your logic as well as help you become a better developer. You can find the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. The link for the ebook is given in the description box below. <coughs> all right, so today's question is how can you add an element to an object? Pretty simple, straightforward use case. It's like just the basics of it, right? If you work with JavaScript, you work with arrays and objects and strings all the time. And with the object, you should be able to fairly add an ex element easily to an object, right? So let's, I'll show you that in hands-on now. Let's get started. All right, let's throw in a script first. And then what we are going to do is create an object first and say original OPJ object and give some values to it. Um, Say street address and one <coughs> right and can give more details whatever you want to add here okay some value you can give just so log this first just to make sure that you're seeing the correct object in the page and go here I open that file and you can see that the object is printed now we need to add a new element to it okay now whatever you want to add you can easily do that using spread operator right so I'm going to say modified object equal to now using uh, how do you use spread operator we spread the original object and what we do we add a new value okay let's say you want to add country and you can easily say and that's it and now you should have an element added to this particular object with country as well so if you see now we got a new element called key value pair which is country and India right so you are adding a new key to an object that's pretty straightforward but important thing here is to see how spread operator can be used in modifying an existing object or an element right and that's the most powerful use case because in most of the times when you work real time you should not touch the uh, object that was there instead create a new object out of a spread operator and manipulate it however you want that is because this data once lost will not be retrieved in the application right so it's better always to create a new area new object out of it using spread operator add whatever keys you want if you have more than one objects just use the spread operator to join them right so there can be multiple variations of this particular use case but this is the most single most uh, simplest use case that you can think of to get started perfect so that solves today's question which is how can you add an element or a key to an object or an element to an object I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am doing it. I'm keeping them short and crisp so that you can get to learn much better and faster. Don't forget to check out the ebook, the same for getting JavaScript coding questions. You can find the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. If you have any queries, write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com or drop in your comments and I'll respond to you. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.